Rad. He is a professor of internal medicine and infection disease, as well as infection control captain at MD Anderson Cancer Center in uh, Houston, Texas. Welcome, Dr. Rad. We have very um, uh, special and uh, important question for you today about uh, this coronavirus thing. Uh, where it came from, what will be the clinical manifestations, how can I protect myself, and so forth. Well, thank you, Dr. Gilgawi. Uh, you're my colleague also in infectious disease, and such an honor, and you're also my uh, co-worker uh, in, in home, uh, and I'm delighted to have you with me uh, today. Corona is a group of viruses. They are RNA viruses, and they, uh, the, the coronas can, uh, there are two types of coronas ones that can cause the uh, common cold, almost 30%, up to 30% of the common cold uh, occurs by corona, and these are the endemic coronas, the mild coronas, and there are ones that can cause severe infection and pneumonias, and ultimately critical kill, uh, kill uh, and might kill people uh, at a high rate. Uh, these are the SARS-1 that occurred in China, uh, and particularly emerged from Hong Kong in 2003, and the MERS, in the uh, Arabian Peninsula, Saudi Arabia in 2013. So these are the two types, one that can cause severe uh, pulmonary infection, lung infection, and one that can, can cause mild cold, and usually these are uh, insequential. Uh, the, the current COVID-19 is in between these two. In 81% of the cases, it's behaving like the mild coronas, like the endemic viruses. Uh, and people would get uh, basically symptoms like either a cold or a dry cough and fever. These are main symptoms, but it's, they are relieved and they don't need to be hospitalized. This occurs mild, uh, mildly in people less than 50 years of age, less than 40, for example. Uh, it's a very, very simple thing. So 81% of the cases are getting mild symptoms. Uh, in the other 19%, uh, they're divided. Two-thirds of those, that is another 12% uh, would get, or 13%, would get a pneumonia, but they, 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 they most likely would recover. These are mainly would recover. And then 7% would get the severe disease. So in, in these 7% to 19%, it's behaving like the SARS-1, the MERS, where uh, almost in the MERS, 50% uh, of the people got intubated. Okay, so how is it spread? Like all other viruses, it's spread, uh, but this is, is spread more widely uh, worldwide, uh, the total cases. Now we have 155,000 uh, 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 cases, uh, sorry, 100,000, uh, 100, uh, uh, sorry, 150,000, uh, 51 uh, cases, and uh, out of those, uh, around 5,000 uh, have died. So the uh, mortality rate is around 3.7% uh, uh, at this point, uh, the case fatality around the world. It's much lower in other places where good medical care. How do you sp uh, prevent its spread? Like any other virus, uh, uh, you, if, uh, it's best uh, to avoid handshake during this pandemic. Uh, it's best not to hug, uh, especially in church communities or close communities or our Middle Eastern culture or, or uh, uh, not to avoid hugging. It's very important to kind of prohibit that. Uh, it's good to keep a sanitizer after if you shake hands or you come close to people uh, to kind of, uh, uh, w with, with a 60% alcohol or more, to use that on your hands, or do hand washing. Uh, it's important uh, also to, uh, they say, avoid touching your face if you can. I mean, I know it's not practical. What about social distancing, which is a big challenge? Uh, social distancing, you should practice it with these guidelines. Uh, uh, keeping a three feet, sometimes it's impossible. So do I come to uh, crowded meetings? If I have to be in a situation, try to put uh, it, have a chair between you and the other person, if possible. If not, I will not cancel the meeting, basically, on that basis. A short exposure, particularly if you teach people, if they have symptoms, any cold symptoms, or cough or fever, not to come to a gathering or a church meeting or otherwise, then people should be fine. Uh, so the most important thing is to how to avoid the panic uh, associated with, what, uh, with this COVID-19. There is an excessive panic which is paralyzing basically societies. Not only it's wrecking the economy, but is sort of overwhelming people. And this is what's very important. I will not uh, 
Uh, I, you know, in some situations, well, they're putting a cutoff point as to kind of a, uh, not have gatherings. Yes, if there is crowding, a uh, gathering of maybe more than uh, 250 people or something, maybe our big conference that has more than 250 or 200, like they're doing in Washington State, I might not do that conference when there's exposure for a long period of time to a lot of hoard, uh, the hoarding of people. But a small kind of a gathering, uh, a certain number, uh, is, is reasonable as long as you maintain these kind of guidelines. And we need to vaccinate people against panic, which can over paralyze society. I believe in social distancing, but not to take it to the extent where people are just kind of a, are going to be floating, particularly if you're not, uh, uh, and, and uh, people in this uh, age and era cannot live on an island, uh, put each person on an island. Uh, and separate them. But at the end, I have a message uh, to my dear brothers and sisters who have known Christ as a personal Savior. The Lord is, uh, the God is our God of peace, and He can give you peace. Keep your eyes on Him. Uh, there is nothing to be afraid. Let us be, be uh, balanced, and let us have, be discerning, and let us have a sound mind, take all the precautions needed, but there is no need to go to the extreme of panic. You can also vaccinate pe other people with the vaccine of peace of Christ and tell them about Christ if uh, you know Christ and you have trusted him. Now is the time to experience his uh, really su uh, peace, peace that surpasses all understanding. At the same time, I would I appeal to people who are really in a state of fear, put your trust in the Lord. And this is a time to accept the Lord Jesus Christ as a personal savior. When he speaks about uh, uh, pestilence and he speaks about uh, uh, famine that is going to take place and you hear of wars and rumors of war he says do not be alarmed do not panic the Lord says uh, my peace uh, peace I leave unto you my peace I give unto you uh, uh, but uh, do not be troubled uh, for I give you a peace that the world cannot give so trust in the Lord and the Lord would give you that peace and act based on facts not on fictions and exaggerated reports. Uh, thank you very much, Dr. Rad. And this was Dr. Rad, the professor of internal medicine and infection disease and the chairman of infection control at MD Anderson. Thanks.